Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com. So sometimes people are interested in the idea of using Evernote or they're already using Evernote, but they have some notes or documents that they're just not comfortable storing in the cloud. So they like the idea of using it, but they don't want to upload some stuff. And the answer to that is called Local Notebooks, and Evernote supports this. So I'm going to show you how that works. So to create a new notebook, what we do is we go up here to File, and then New Notebook. So we've got a few options here, but one of them is this Notebook Type field. And you can see the default is Synchronized Notebook, which means it goes up to the Evernote server, but then we also have this Local Notebook field here, and that tells us that anything we save here is only going to stay on this computer. So we're going to choose that, and we're going to go Secret. I'll just name it Secret Stuff for the Notebook. And you can see here we now have this secret stuff notebook, and you can tell that it is, you can tell that it is local because it has a little uh, kind of do not enter sign in the icon. That's how you can tell that it's a local notebook. And so if we, so let's say that I want to uh, drag a PDF to it. So I'll just take this PDF and I'll drag it to this notebook. And this is a, some slides from, from Macworld. But, so I've dragged that PDF to it, and it's now in Evernote. And let's synchronize it, just so that we know that any changes we've made have been synchronized up to Evernote server. And let's see if we can find this, this, uh, this document now. And we'll do that by going over to my Windows computer and seeing if this, sh this notebook shows up there. So let's check that out. All right, here we are on my Windows computer, and we've got all the same notes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this sync button, and that will just make Evernote check its its uh, check online and see if there's any changes. And what I would expect to happen is this secret stuff notebook should not come down to my Windows computer. So let's hit it and see. So I'm hitting sync. It's going through synchronizing, and you can see here over on this side the secret stuff notebook did not appear so that's great so let's check one last thing and just to be a hundred percent sure and we'll go up to Evernote's servers and on the web interface and make sure it's not there either okay here we're logged into evernote.com I'm in the Evernote web interface and you can see here right now there is no secret stuff notebook but let's just hit the refresh button on the browser make sure we have all the latest stuff and hopefully, hopefully, if we scroll down here, we'll see, yep, the Evernote uh, secret stuff folder is not there. So that folder, that new notebook that we have created is just on my Mac computer. It's not on the web. It's not on Windows. So some things to make sure you're aware of is that uh, that means that this stuff is not backed up to Evernote. So if something happens to your computer, uh, you're not going to be able to download it off Ever Evernote server. You need to have some other way to back this stuff up. But that is how to create a local notebook on Evernote to keep your documents secure on your own computer and not upload it to the cloud. For more going on paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.